Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm Paul. Come check out Never Easy's next video with us. Topwise Max cable. They do a 15 footer for buggies and buses. And we're putting it in a uh, 69 bus. It's got Weber's on it. So it uh, will uh, give us more throttle travel. And uh, his old solid wire cable kind of hangs up in the tube because it's been bent over the years and uh, has a couple of kinks that drag on the side of the tubing that the cable runs through. Uh, we're going to go ahead and raise it up and start to install it. So, this car, we uh, had the motor out, so the throttle cable is already disconnected, but with a set of Webers, you typically have a, well, you like to run the stock style barrel nut, get yourself a nut driver, crack this guy loose, and pull the cable out the bottom of the van. All right, so this bus actually has its pedal pan, so we gotta pop that out. This one, uh, somebody replaced all the hardware with Phillips screws, which is uh, totally cool and functional. There's a couple missing, like almost every bus. These holes will often strip out, so don't over tighten your hardware. And then on the bolts that are by the beam, all you do is crack them loose and do a couple turns, and the pan will slide out of those. Tip down the front and slide forward. And here we have access to your throttle cable. This bus has been modified. He has a uh, aftermarket throttle pedal assembly, which is very cool. I, uh, I can't recall who makes it, but it's uh, better than the old ones, which usually have hogged out, worn out holes in them. And you gotta weld them up and re-drill them if, uh, if you're doing this from scratch. So we're going to pull this old hard wire out and put in the new hot rod top line cable. Alright, so he's got the aftermarket pedal assembly, or pivot assembly. It has an Allen wrench bolt in it, which um, makes this totally different than the stock installation, but still fairly easy to do. So we gotta pull this Allen bolt out of here because it's six millimeter and it's too big for the uh, max cable. And uh, ah, it's got glue on it, so this is gonna be a pain. And it's Allen, so you ratchet won't fit in here really. Dear aftermarket part maker, please stop using Allen heads. So we get the max cable. Oh, I forgot the most important part. We have to pull the old hardwire cable out of the van. Oh, look at that. Just in time, we've removed this cable. His stock cable is right about to break off. I barely pulled on it at all and it snapped off. As you can see, an excessive amount of drag from multiple kinks in the cable. Throw it in the trash. <laughs> All right, then we feed the new flexible cable through. All right, so it. you feed the cable to the cable tube up here by the master. And just feed that guy through. come out back by the transmission. There's supposed to be a 
tube that goes over the top of your transmission and connects to your steel throttle tube that goes through your fan shroud. That tube is missing on this bus and uh, we don't have a replacement unit so we're going to run the cable open over the top of the tranny which is pretty common actually. Um, we recommend getting hold of the tube but we don't have access to one at this time and the guy's in a hurry to get his van back so we're just going to go ahead and run open back here. Always kind of keep an eye on where it's going. You don't want it a uh, bare metal cable arcing against your starter uh, if your battery is connected so keep an eye on that. Don't brain yourself on the lift. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, the neighbors from the entertainment room are having fun today. <laughs> All right, so we get our hardware. Supply from top line. I'm going to go ahead and run it through the hole that's in this aftermarket thing. is threaded for six millimeter. The five millimeter fits fairly tight. So we just run a a nut up on that guy. I'm going to torque this one in place so it doesn't spin. And that way you don't ever wear out your uh, aftermarket uh, expensive L bracket throttle cable linkage. And you tighten that stuff down with a couple of So you just go ahead and. <laughs> Go ahead and torque this one down. Entertainment. <laughs> Might go over here the humping big door. Uh, so you go ahead and get your eight millimeter wrench, torque the top line hardware in place. Doesn't spin. Uh, permanent attachment. And then your end of your cable will slip over this. Actually, I like to put a washer in there. I put a washer on. And then I run another washer. And then I put a nylock nut on these. And that uh, locks it in place permanently. Spin it down and you'll feel it get to the nylock section and that'll get tight and torque that with a wrench. And then you're locked in place permanently. And the wear is on a eight millimeter bolt. You might put a little grease in there depending on if you take your bus in the dirt or not. I'd run it dry if you're gonna get it real dirty, but if you uh, just driving around town, put a little grease on that fitting. And uh, then uh, the only thing that will really wear out is your eight millimeter, or sorry, five millimeter bolt. And those are easily replaceable at any hardware store, so it uh, doesn't wear out anything you spend a lot of money on. And that's how we hook up the front of that cable. All right, so the cable's going to come out the back end right above your nose pole of your transmission. The piece of steel tubing right Which will be tricky to see with this lighting. And that goes over the top of the tranny, and the cable should come feeding out this direction. Then you chase it up, greasy tranny on this bus. And there's a tube right there coming out of your back of your engine. You feed the cable through that and it will feed through into the engine bay. Uh, once again, be careful if your battery is disconnected that you don't accidentally feed this bare metal cable across the top of an alternator because uh, the alternator will be hot and there's a lot of cable so it could feed God knows anywhere. And sometimes this is tricky, especially tricky if you're on the ground. But. So we come out the back here, the cable's fed through, we just pop the cap. You get your barrel nut. Take the end of your cable, you got a good amount of extra because the top line does a killer cable. And we feed it through the hole from behind. Voila. Tighten that up with your 8mm nut driver. Have your buddy go get in there and push the throttle down and we'll check if it gets full throttle or not.
Let's lipstick. check out if there's any lipstick on his dipstick. Yep. 